Welcome to this in-service tutorial for Aeron Corporation's Newton Model A Ventilator. The Newton Model A is a small, lightweight pneumatic ventilator with built-in CPAP designed for use on pediatric to adult patients 50 pounds or 23 kilograms and greater. It can be used anywhere in the hospital, including the ER, OR, ICU for intrahospital patient transport and bedside ventilation support. The fact that the Model A does not require electrical connections or batteries for operation makes it ideal for EMS and interhospital transport by air and ground. What's more, the Newton Model A is MRI compatible. This makes it the perfect transport and MRI use ventilator, which saves transfer time, protects the clinician, and avoids complications for the patient. The Model A has six key advantages, including both invasive and non-invasive ventilation to support a wide spectrum of patients with either an endotracheal tube or a face mask, an integrated high output demand flow CPAP system offering low work of breathing, automatic sensitivity, and up to 140 liters per minute flow rate for that spontaneously breathing patient, full MRI compatibility with no Gauss line restrictions, the ventilator can be placed right next to the magnet with no image artifact. An integrated all pneumatic alarm system with remote alarm capability, which provides alerts of patient circuit disconnects and low gas supply. Fully pneumatic operation, meaning the Model A runs strictly on oxygen source and requires no electricity or batteries for full operation and maintenance. And the Newton Model A has simple to use controls, making it easy to teach and learn. Let's start our product in service. We'll begin at the unit's rear panel and look at four specific features. Driving gas input, audible alarms, air intake and filter, and remote alarm output. Driving gas input connection. The first item we will look at on the rear panel is the driving gas input connection. Keep in mind the Newton A does not require electricity or batteries. Instead, the device runs on the hospital's high flow oxygen source or portable compressed oxygen cylinder and requires 55 PSI with a minimum flow of 40 liters per minute. Always ensure that the gas supply line is secure and operating at the proper pressure. Note that when the gas is first connected and flowing, the ventilator will alarm. This is normal. The ventilator will begin to function at the preset values. Audible alarms. The audible alarm sound comes out of this circle of holes on the adapter. This is the sound made by the audible alarm. Please be sure to never put anything in these holes or cover them up, otherwise the alarm will not be audible. The alarm will sound when there is a patient disconnect or the oxygen source gas pressure drops below 30 PSI. Air intake and filter. The third item on the back of the unit is the filter for the ambient air intake. Aeron Corporation will change the filter during routine preventative maintenance, which is required every two years. The filter can also be fitted with a nuclear bacterial chemical filter, also known as an NBC filter, for use in hazmat situations. Remote Alarm Output The next feature to note is the BNC fitting for an optional remote control alarm. This remote alarm fitting will only work with Aeron supplied remote alarm cables. The remote alarm is ideal for use with an MRI transport because it allows the Model A to be next to the MRI and an alarm box to be placed in or near the control room, making the alarm audible even while the MRI is running. This provides added safety for your patient and peace of mind for you, the healthcare provider. Now let's move our attention to the front panel of the Newton Model A. First, we'll review the four control parameters related to patient respiratory support. PEEP CPAP, peak pressure, tidal volume, and respiratory rate. PEEP CPAP control. Let's start at the top left with the control that provides both PEEP and CPAP. When the device is set for ventilation mode, PEEP will provide the baseline pressure. When not in ventilation mode, it supports CPAP for spontaneous breathing. 
The PEEP CPAP control adjusts up to 20 centimeters of water and has automatic sensitivity for changing patient needs with a maximum flow rate provided up to 140 liters per minute. The patient receives the FiO2 set by the percent oxygen control. As you will see while using the Model A, the PEEP CPAP system is very responsive with low work of breathing similar to critical care ventilators within the ICU. Peak Pressure Control To the right of the PEEP CPAP control is the Peak Pressure Control, which limits peak airway pressure up to a maximum of 75 centimeters of water. In ventilation mode, set the pressure at a desired setting to assure patient safety, usually 10 centimeters of water greater than the delivery airway pressure, but please always use your institution's protocols. The peak pressure control can also be used to deliver pressure-limited breaths during pressure ventilation with the CPAP PEEP control as the low pressure setting. Tidal volume control. On the bottom left is the tidal volume control with a calibrated range of 360 to 1500 milliliters. The Model A's flow rate is preset at 36 liters per minute for all mandatory breaths. That allows the patient to receive the set tidal volume with fixed inspiratory flow with delivered peak pressure monitored on the manometer. Respiratory rate control. To the right of the tidal volume is the respiratory or respirate control. It accommodates a patient mandatory breath rate in a range of three to greater than 28 breaths per minute. There is a wide range setting at lower respiratory rates to provide better control for slower intermittent mandatory ventilation, or IMV rates. Additionally, the respiratory rate can provide a maximum rate of 50 breaths per minute, depending on the selection of tidal volume. Let's discuss the basic operation of the tidal volume and respirate controls. As a pneumatic ventilator with a peak flow that remains constant, when you change the tidal volume, the inspiratory time changes. It is recommended that you set tidal volume first and then your desired respirate. Changing respirate changes expiratory time. For further information, please refer to the User Manual, Section 4, Operating Instructions. You will notice that central to the front panel is the manometer pressure gauge. This provides a visual indicator of patient pressure for the CPAP PEEP and the delivered airway pressure for each breath. The manometer shows pressure in the patient's circuit as it leaves the ventilator. Next, let's move to the right-hand side of the front panel to discuss audible visual alarms, percent oxygen control, mandatory breaths, and the patient connection. Audible and visual alarms. Above the pressure gauge are the visual alarm indicator and the alarm reset silence buttons. The visual alarm indicator illuminates for an active alarm condition. The alarm warns of a patient circuit disconnect after 22 seconds or when the gas supply is at less than 30 PSI. The alarm will also activate as soon as an oxygen source is turned onto the ventilator. You may silence the alarm for one minute by pressing the reset silence button. Attaching the ventilator to a test lung or the patient and starting ventilation will automatically reset the alarm system and turn off the audible and visual indicators. A patient circuit disconnect is sensed when any of the following conditions occur. Mandatory breaths on. Circuit pressure does not rise above 15 centimeters of water within 22 seconds of the last time the delivered breath was at least 15 centimeters of water. Mandatory breaths off. A pressure of less than 5 centimeters of water is sensed for 22 seconds. The alarm system can be momentarily silenced by pressing the reset silence button on the front panel. Each time the reset silence button is pressed, the alarm system restarts the one minute silence time delay. Please note this delay is not cumulative. In other words, repeatedly pressing the reset silence button will not increase the silence time by more than one minute. Percent Oxygen Control To the right of the alarm reset is the percent oxygen control switch. With the ventilator driven by 100% oxygen as the source gas, the Model A's variable oxygen control system allows the clinician to choose either 65 or 100%. Both mandatory and spontaneous breaths are delivered at the set oxygen level. 
The high flow Venturi provides stable performance up to the maximum operating pressure, 75 centimeters of water, of the ventilator. Mandatory breaths. The mandatory breath control to the far right allows you to toggle on or off. In the on position, the ventilator will deliver the preset tidal volume and respiratory rate for each mandatory breath for the patient. With the mandatory breath switch in the off position, the ventilator will provide CPAP only for the spontaneously breathing patient via an endotracheal tube or a face mask. Patient connection. In the lower right corner is the patient connection with an expiratory or EXP valve fitting which accommodates the patient breathing circuit. The patient circuits and CPAP masks are used to connect adult or pediatric patients to any Aeron ventilator CPAP system and may be used with endotracheal tube or face mask with the angle connector provided. Aeron offers both a 6-foot and an 8-foot patient circuit. The 8-foot patient circuit is particularly advantageous in an MRI setting. We also offer patient circuits with non-invasive mask, head strap, and expiratory filters. The patient circuit exhalation valve has been designed with an elbow to support the direct addition of the expiratory bacterial viral filter for the patient's expired gas. Simply adding this filter to the device will help you protect yourself, your team, and your patients. The patient circuit configuration is a single limb 22 mm circuit with an expiratory valve that connects to the EXP valve connection on the front of the Model A. Please note, only Aeron manufactured patient breathing circuits are approved for use with the Newton A ventilator. All Aeron circuits are identified with FDA cleared labeling. The Model A is calibrated specifically to the Aeron patient breathing circuit and the use of any other patient circuit may cause PEEP CPAP and peak pressures to be inaccurate, higher inspiratory work of breathing during spontaneous breaths, higher expiratory flow resistance. Our patient circuits are competitively priced. The use of unauthorized circuits increases your liability and may put patients at risk. One last step. Prior to clinical application of the Newton Model A ventilator, an Operational Verification Procedure, or OVP, should be performed to validate the device's performance to specifications. The Operational Verification will measure the following ventilation parameters, tidal volume, respiratory rate and peak pressure, and the alarm system. For further information, please refer to the User Manual, Section 4, Operating Instructions. Thank you for your time today. This concludes our Newton Model A Ventilator in-service tutorial. For further information, feel free to visit us at aeronusa.com or call us at 888-448-1238.